From now on, Squall will be the leader. He will decide our destination and battle plan. Are you serious? Everyone, please follow I his I can't orders. believe this. If there are any objections, please come see me. I don't me. even have a choice? Squall, we're under your command from now on. This is your fate. It is your destiny to lead the way in defeating the sorceress. Don't talk about this like it's been decided since my birth. <laughs> What's up guys, I wanna talk about voice actors. The quality of voice acting in video games has vastly improved since, uh... <laughs> oh, Barry! You were almost a Jill sandwich. Never forget, that really happened. So today I kinda wanna shine a light on my favorite scenes from my favorite voice actors in video games. Well, obvious disclaimer, I'm only gonna talk about the games that I've actually played. I've, I've played a lot, but not all of them. So if I'm missing one of your favorite voice actors, Please, just let me know in that comment section, and we can get to talking about it. Alright, let's get started with number one. Yuri Lowenthal. Yuri Lowenthal is a very busy dude. He's had main roles, side roles, grunt roles. It seems like he's got some part in every sort of animation. He's mostly known for his lead role as Peter Parker in PS4's Spider-Man, and as Sasuke in Naruto. But I first noticed his great acting chops in Tales of the Abyss on PlayStation 2. A very underrated game from the popular Tales RPG series. What I really admire about Yuri Lowenthal is not only the, the emotion that he can put into his performances, but the fact that the dude is 50 and he still sounds like an angst-filled teenager. That's talent. If that's the source of the strength you're talking about, then I won't lose! Well said. I will make those words your last replica! Laura Bailey. Laura Bailey, like Yuri, seems to be in, like, everything. She's mostly known for her roles as Mary Jane in PS4 Spider-Man, Abby in Last of Us Part 2, and Rain from Blood Rain, but I especially enjoyed her role as Raimi in Star Ocean The Last Hope. Whenever you hear her voice, you just can't help but listen to every word. And whether it be a silly anime or a dramatic moment in a video game, I can feel every emotion she's delivering. Same decision. It's not a joke at all. You let the real reason slip a second ago. We can't just ignore these people. Isn't that where your heart really is, Edge? Steve Bloom. I feel like everybody has heard this guy's voice at one time or another. He's had a long career in anime, most notably as Spike in Cowboy Bebop and Mugen in Samurai Champloo. And as far as video games, what hasn't this dude been in? He's voiced Final Fantasy VII's Vincent, Killer Croc, Grunt, Wolverine, but the one role of his I personally loved was Dragon Age's Ogren. Steve's iconic, raspy voice fit perfectly as the crude, alcoholic dwarf with a penchant for delivering berserker pain to his enemies. You gotta hear this one. This human walks into a tavern. <laughs> if you see this, Steve, I don't mean that you sound like an alcoholic. I just, I just mean, I'm just, you're awesome, dude. Seriously, don't be mad. Will Yun Lee. Will Yun Lee's portrayal of Wei Shen in Sleeping Dogs is probably the best performance by an actor I've seen in a video game. As I've mentioned in my Sleeping Dogs review, the first game review I ever made on this channel, you truly feel the stress Wei is under as an undercover cop, and he adds so much substance to a game that's often passed up as just another Grand Theft Auto clone. Will's resume mostly is from actual movies and TV shows like this unforgettable role in True Blood. You know what 49% of a three and a half billion dollar a year company is? I thought so. He only has a few voice acting credits, like Kung Lao and Mortal Kombat 11, which is a shame because his chops are very well suited for voice work. You're a cop. I'm an undercover cop. The rules are different. And you're fucking concerned about me? Claudia Black. If you want to talk about iconic sounding voices, Claudia Black's got one of the most recognizable. Her smooth, sexy, and often devilish tone fits well with the characters she's tapped to portray. Most notably, and my personal favorite, Morgan from Dragon Age. I don't know how you can play that game and not go mad over that character's brilliantly written, ambiguous moral compass. I mean, she is a witch of the wilds after all, but 
As Dragon Age is an RPG in the sense that there's multiple outcomes and dialogue paths, the actors need to have a wide range of deliveries and emotions to display. And whether it be an evil witch or flirtatious anti-hero, Claudia Black nails it all. Darkness closes in. Will you stand against it? Or lead this world to its bitter end? Ray Chase. Now, Ray is in no way on this list because he signed my copy of Final Fantasy XV and I'm one degree away from him and I be besties and him one day saying, Hey, Shane, I can't do this part because it clashes with my other job. But hey, you, you got an interesting voice. I got, I got a part in a game you'd be perfect for. What do you say? It could happen. In all seriousness, Ray's portrayal of Noctis was great. This sort of part could easily dive into that whiny emo territory, considering the actual characters, written background, and personality, but Ray did a fantastic job of making Western audiences feel the weight that sits upon Noctis' shoulders as a young prince struggling with the destiny that's forced upon him, as well as trying to live up to the legend of his infallible father. Ray's had a pretty prolific career as well, and I only hope that his killer performance in Final Fantasy XV gets him more and more roles. You think you're a king, but you're a coward. Shut up! Oh, don't do this! I... I get it, all right? I get it! Ray, you rock, dude. Sam Witwer. Talk about an actor's actor. Sam Witwer is the dude. I mean, he can go from uber creep to charming biker dude to valiant hero. This guy is one of the best actors I've seen on screen. His awesome performance as Starkiller in the Star Wars Force Unleashed games cemented him as the only person that can play that role, similar to Hugh Jackman as Wolverine or Robert Downey Jr. as Iron Man. It's absolutely criminal that his portrayal as Deacon in Days Gone didn't get him more accolades because he should've won a freaking Oscar or a, a gamey or a whatever the hell awards you can give an actor. He deserves all of them. Come on, I'll take you back to your car. We can wait for the tow truck. I don't know. Well, all right. I'm sure when those boys come back, they'd be happy to give you a ride, so... <laughs> okay, all right. <clears throat> all right, I just... Just give me a second. <sighs> It'll be any minute now, All right, so... all right, all right. Screw it, let's go. Now, obviously, I'm missing a lot of talented voice actors out there, but just for the sake of time, I thought Seven would be a good stopping point. Voice acting can be a tricky thing, because if it's bad, it's frickin' bad. Oh, Barry! Never forget. But when you can tell the actress put all this hard work in and just nails a part, it deserves praise. So I just want to say thank all of you voice actors for breathing life into all of our video games. You guys have helped video games evolve into the exciting cinematic masterpieces they are today. Today's modern video games would be nothing without you guys. Alright guys, if you like this video, please hit that like button. If you haven't subscribed to the channel yet, please do that. Check out my live streams every week where I play drums over various nerd-related tunes. Alright, that's it. Y'all have a good one.